In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.21.5. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment, and then it is going to bring you to a website where it will provide you with all the files that you will need in order to download Lightmatica, and it will also provide you with a written step-by-step -step guide. So step number one is to download Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.21.5. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and press on this blue link over here that says Lightmatica GitHub releases page. So let's just go ahead and press on it like so. And then it is going to bring us to the GitHub page of the Lightmatica download. So all we need to do is we need to go ahead and select on the most latest version. And as you're able to tell, it will say Minecraft 1.21.5. And we need to go ahead and install this file over here that does say Lightmatica Fabric 1.21.5.jar. So let's just go ahead and press on that. And then there you go. We can now see it on the top right of our browser. Now, depending on what browser you're using, you may not be able to see your file over here, but what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. Now for clarity purposes, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the files that we did download into my desktop just to make the process easier. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing as well. So look, it is here in our desktop. Anyways, guys, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and do step number two, which is to download my Lee library. So this is actually a required dependency, and this is a separate mod that we need in order for Lightmatica to work. So we need to basically do the same thing again. It is going to go ahead and give us a link to the GitHub release page. So underneath step number two, there is going to be a link right over here, and you want to go ahead and just press on it like so. Then it is going to open up another GitHub page. And for this one, you want to go ahead and install my lab fabric 1.21.5. So go ahead and just do that. And then there we go. We now have it installed. And once again, go ahead and drag and drop it to the desktop just like so. All right, guys. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to the website. And this time, let's go ahead and install Fabric for Minecraft 1.21.5. And Fabric is a mod loader that will basically allow us to actually run all of these mods. So let's just go ahead and press on the official Fabric installer page right over here. So let's go ahead and press on that. And then all we need to do is we need to go ahead and press over here where it says download universal jar. So just press on that like so, and then there you go. We now have the fabric installer. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the fabric installer to my desktop just like so. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you do have Java 21 installed. We will need Java in order to run .jar files, which is actually the file type of all the uh, files that we downloaded previously. So it's really important that you guys install Java 21. And underneath step number four, it is going to give you the official Java 21 download page. So just go ahead and press on that right over here, and then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this and again make sure that jdk21 is actually selected and from here go ahead and select on your operating system so whether you're on a linux mac os or windows you can go ahead and download java now me personally i'm on a windows so i would go ahead and select on windows right over here and then i would install the x64 installer right over here and basically you just got to go ahead and do the setup wizard and stuff like that and from there you should be able to go ahead and download java on your device and guys if you're running into any troubles when you're trying to download java i recommend that you guys actually run the jar fix now the jar fix is an executable command that will basically attempt to repair all of your dot jar files and basically make java work again so this step is optional and you should only do it if you're running into issues when you're installing java and i just recommend knowing about this in general in case like in the future you're having troubles with java or something like that but um if you do click on the link it is going to bring you to a page that does look like this and what you need to do is you need to go ahead and press over here where it says jar fix.exe then it is going to download a program on your device and all you need to do is just run that program and then it's going to go ahead and fix up the issue all right guys so now that you're done with that we should have three files by now we should have lightmatica madlib and the fabric installer and also you should have java installed on your device from here we can go ahead and continue so what you want to do is you want to go to the fabric installer and you want to go ahead and right click on it like so then you want to go ahead and press on open with and then select on java tm platform se binary which you should be able to see if you did download java so let's just go ahead and select on java right over here and then it is going to open up a menu that looks like this make sure that client is selected and for minecraft version you want to make sure that 1.21.5 is actually selected and then in the launcher location it is basically going to tell you where in your device it is going to download the fabric uh installation and also make sure that the box that says create profile is turned on then from there go ahead and just press on install 
and then there we go it'll now say successfully installed and then you can go ahead and just close out of the fabric installer right over here and from here go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher all right so now that we're in the minecraft launcher make sure that minecraft job edition is selected and in the version selector you should see that it will automatically switch to a fabric loader 1.21.5 however if you do not see that do not worry what you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and press on installations and then over here where it does say versions you want to make sure that modded is actually turned on because this is considered a modded version of minecraft anyways guys once you're done with that what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and locate fabric loader which is right over here and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the open installations folder so this folder icon right over here you just want to go ahead and press on it like so then it is going to open up a bunch of folders and from here all you want to do is you want to locate the mods folder which is right over here and if for whatever reason you do not see a folder that is called mods do not worry because you can make it yourself by right clicking then pressing on new then folder then calling it mods in all lowercase but anyways guys all you want to do is just open up the mods folder and here we are in the mods folder right now so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and go back to our desktop and now we're going to drag and drop both lightmatica and madlib to our mods folder so let's just go ahead and do that really quickly and then there you go you will now notice that these two mods are inside here then you can go ahead and close out the mods folder then go back to the minecraft launcher then go ahead and press on play make sure that fabric loader 1.21.5 is actually selected then go ahead and press on play all right guys so here we are loaded into minecraft and you notice that over here will say minecraft 1.21.5 and then fabric and then mod it in parentheses so from here all you want to do is just load into a minecraft world all right guys so here we are in a minecraft world and in order to get started all you got to do is just take out a stick and then there you go you will now notice that lightmatica will actually begin and from here you guys can go ahead and start your projects and have a ton of fun if you guys found this video helpful make sure leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, french fries.